<clears throat> okay, so is this on? Yeah, there we go. So my favorite drink is a gin and tonic. It tastes great, it's refreshing, and I've recently discovered that it's actually really easy to make your own. Now, admittedly, this basically just involves adding flavorings to vodka, but as a chemist, this really appeals to my inner love of making things that smell like solvent and making a mess. Um, now, during my most recent batch of gin making, I started thinking about the ways in which the two components come together to give you your end product. The mixing of two solutions is actually really important in chemistry because it can tell you about how your reaction is occurring, um, which is basically what the study of chemistry is. Um, and it's actually governed by a set of principles which are known as transport phenomena. Now, there are a range of transport phenomena, but I'm just going to focus on diffusion. So when I think about diffusion, I like to imagine myself in a crowded pub on a Friday afternoon, evening. Um, so if the pub that the town, the town that the pub is in is our bulk solution, and the pub itself with all the people in are our molecules in our second solution, we need to think about how and why the molecules are moving from the pub into the town. Now in my experience, there are three reasons that you leave a pub. It's too hot, it's too busy, or they call last orders. Um, and this surprisingly holds true for diffusing molecules. So molecules will diffuse if there is a temperature gradient, so they'll move from an area of high temperature to an area of low temperature because it's more energetically stable. Similarly, they'll also move down a concentration gradient, so they'll move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. And lastly, Molecules also diffuse due to an external force. Now, in our pub situation, this could be them calling last orders. Maybe a friend's had too many, you've got to take them home. Um, but you can have both an internal property solution, solution property, or an external force. So now we know why molecules diffuse, we should think about how they diffuse. Again, this is very similar to drunk people leaving a club. They don't go in a straight line. They kind of meander around, crashing into other people and other things. And this is known as a random walk. And when a molecule on a random walk that's diffusing hits another molecule, it causes that molecule to diffuse as well. And that is known as convection. So the next time you're on your random walk home leaving a crowded pub, try and think about why you're diffusing. Is it because it's too hot? It's too busy? Or because of an external force? Let's face it though, it's probably just because of the gin. Thank you. <laughs>